Welcome to Table Talk. I'm Joe Franklin. And I'm Nick Sillen. And we want to recognize and remember Charlie Munger today. Yeah. Charlie was someone that I grew to respect, especially after getting this book, Poor Charlie's Almanac. And poor Charlie, who wrote this almanac, passed away last week. And uh, many people, uh, what, what do you know about Charlie Munger? Well, Charlie was the right-hand man of Warren Buffett, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. And Warren, at, at one time, Warren studied under Benjamin Graham, who's known as the father of, of value investing. And of course, Warren is his biggest disciple and has become the world's richest man over time. Uh, from time to time, he's not the world's richest man. And then the, thing, the, the, the things that are the most overvalued don't tend to come back to not being quite as overvalued. He's the world's richest man again. Right. But um, Charlie was uh, Warren's probably second biggest influence as far as investing is concerned. Charlie got Warren Buffett to move away from the cigar butt va value investing where he bought up things that were unbelievably cheap and just bought, picked up stuff off the ground like uh, lottery tickets that uh, somebody just hadn't cashed. Actually, actually, Buffett is known for when he was a kid going to the racetrack and looking through all the things that people threw away and seeing what actually uh, the money that they actually threw away and going cashing it in. But and so though so Buffett was very fond of finding lots of values out there. And uh, Charlie got him away from the cigar butt investing where he's he's buying the buying the great values and waiting for them to to realize their value and then then throwing away because they aren't great businesses and getting Buffett to focus a lot more on great businesses that he can get at a good value but that are great businesses that he can own for a long period of time. And uh, Charlie is known as one that was pretty irreverent, as, as it states here, the wisdom for the most irreverent billionaire. I like Charlie because uh, there's lots of stories about him stepping onto the plane in California and flying coach to the uh, Berkshire Hathaway annual meetings and everybody would be clapping and cheering him, giving a standing ovation because He's a frugal guy that flies coast just like the rest of them. And uh, lots of these people are billionaires or multimillionaires and they're still flying coach because they're frugal. And uh, the other thing about Charlie that I really like is his love for Benjamin Franklin. And so he wrote this book, Poor Charlie's Almanac, and is taken from Poor Richard's Almanac that Benjamin Franklin wrote back in the 1700s. And I have got a big affinity for Uncle Ben, obviously. And so uh, Charlie took a lot from Uncle Ben and incorporated that in his own, in his own investment style and uh, incorporated that in his own life. And, um, and, uh, and Uncle Ben provided a lot of framework for him to, in how to choose partners, how to live frugally, how to c consider decision making. And uh, Warren Buffett also took a lot from Charlie and I think that uh, Warren Buffett's love for Uncle Ben came from, from, from Charlie, actually. So um, <clears throat> Charlie, in, in recent years, uh, ha has kept a very concentrated portfolio. I think the things that he passed away with in his portfolio were mostly a few bank stocks, uh, possibly uh, some blue chip stamps. Um, I think he still owned blue chip stamps. Um, he, uh, he, uh, he, he helped uh, Warren Buffett find C's candy. That was a great thing for, for Berkshire Hathaway. Obviously he owned a lot of Berkshire Hathaway stock. Maybe some Coca-Cola. Yeah, well, he owned Coca-Cola through Berkshire Hathaway, I think. Right. But um, Charlie Munger was the second largest holder in Berkshire Hathaway after Warren Buffett. And his own personal portfolio, his most recent purchase was Alibaba. And he felt that... Uh, Alibaba was selling at a great discount, still a great business, but was being thrown away. And uh, he felt that there was a lot of potential there. So um, obviously Alibaba hasn't done as well as some other th like things like Pinduoduo, some others in recent times, but it could have a lot of upside still. But um, I like reading through Per Charlie's Almanac. I did not buy this myself. Someone gave it to me because I think they appreciated my love for Benjamin Franklin, hence my further love for, for Charlie, <clears throat> and, and as well as him being the right-hand man of Berkshire Hathaway all these years. 
Uh, Charlie was the one who would say, say things that Warren Buffett wouldn't say. If you really wanted to know what he and Warren Buffett really thought, you'd ask Charlie. You wouldn't ask Warren Buffett because Warren Buffett would tell it in a more politically correct manner. Charlie wouldn't wouldn't uh, mince any words. Yeah. So, so Charlie had a lot of wit. He had a lot of wisdom, and he told it like it is. He he was a little bit more crusty than uh, Warren Buffett, but his crustiness it was like a Tootsie Roll pop. He had the hard, crunchy center and the soft middle. That's what I said about my father when he passed away. By the way, he had the hard, hard, crunchy center, and I mean hard. No, hard, crunchy. Coating outside. in the soft middle. Right. I think he was a little hard and crunchy on the outside because he was so soft on the inside. He didn't let a whole let a whole lot of people in, and uh, for that reason, we can all appreciate Mr. Charlie Munger. Uh, We're he, praying for his family for sure. Yeah. So uh, lived in '99. And I think those were 99 good years. And we love uh, Poor Charlie's Almanac. And in, in the back of the book, here on the, on the back cover, Warren Buffett, I'll paraphrase Warren Buffett, he basically says the scholars have long debated whether Poor Charlie or Charlie Munger is the second coming of Ben Franklin and that this book should settle the question once and for all. So we're going to keep this book in the front of the office for those who want to read it Please read and it. soak in the wisdom of Charlie Munger which also contains wisdom from Ben Franklin, which right. uh, we, we, we admire as well. And uh, please feel free to like the video, lots of thumbs up, and, uh, and share the video with your friends and subscribe, subscribe so you can get lots of content in future days to come.